Now, as for this road that was behind me, the future of that? Well, that depends whether it can stay open or closed on how the lava behaves. What happens if lava threatens or closes the Saddle Road Highway? I obtained a plan that the state has made for how it would handle Highway 200 closure if it becomes necessary. The current plan delineates closures near the 8 and 21 mile posts, enforced and manned, and signage on the feeder roads in all directions. Again, this is just a plan. If closure becomes necessary, no closure is in place right now. I also talked with Ken Hahn from the USGS and Hawaii Island Mayor Mitch Roth about this and how likely it is to be triggered and possible timing. Hahn said it could be a matter of days, depending on variables. Depending on speed and also what the lava does when it hits the flat. It could continue to move as a channelized uh -uh flow, in which case it wouldn't spread very widely um, and it would reach the, the uh, highway faster, or it might actually spread out as pahoyhoy, in which case it could spread over a big area and that would slow it down significantly. I also asked the mayor how the county is planning around possible closure of a major island thoroughfare. We've been meeting with all of our partners. One of those partners is the State Department of Transportation, and they've come up with some plans. You know, if the Saddle Road gets covered, though, or Danny K. Inouye Highway gets covered, though, what will happen is people have to go around the, the coastal routes, and uh, you know, people have been used to that. But that will cause you know some traffic congestion. You know, our buses now go over that road, and a lot of the trucks go over. Um, luckily, right now. Um, the bridges that we've been working on that have prevented trucks and buses from going over those, uh, those bridges, they are within days of being completely repaired. And so we'll be back to 80,000 tons of vehicles being able to go over, for example, the Nui Bridge on the Hamakua Coast, which has been out uh, for several months. Now, we're going to keep on top of this story. This has got to be probably the top story, in my opinion, in terms of the potential impact on day-to-day -day life on the Big Island from the lava. Other than that, so far, the impact is just a gift of your viewing pleasure. Come join us. There's still time to come on up to Gilbert Kahele Park.